uh, what um, uh, the GUI net help you to provide this knowledge on the the versa SD and technology. So I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, um, my screen is visible to everyone. Yes, sir, it's visual. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the uh, first we talk about the uh, first uh, GUI net technology. Okay. So, this is a uh, one of the leading uh, technology company which uh, providing the training on the uh, next generation uh, platform. Okay, like uh, Cisco, Viptela, uh, Versa, as well as the Checkpoint and other uh, next generation technology. Uh, okay, so this is just our logo. Okay, and we talk about these are the basic uh, training we are uh, providing. Uh, the Cisco uh, SGVN as well as the Versa we are starting now, as well as the Palo Alto uh, checkpoint, as well as the CCN CCNP course and the uh, the Cisco SA firewall. Uh, First of all, uh, just I wanted to uh, make you some uh, like uh, how the uh, the network has been uh, network technology has been disrupted. Disruptions has been last twenty years. Okay, so when we're talking about this, uh, when we started that um, uh, the VPN technology in 2000, 2006, Okay, I remember correctly, the people are using the IP based VPN. Okay, where the um, the service provider provide the public IP addresses both the end. And the top of the um, over the technology, we are using a GRE tunnel to create the like side to side tunnels. Okay, GRE GRE tunnel is also you can say is kind of one of the overlay technology. Uh, part of that other media was the lease lines or the HDL. And this was the popular HD band or the VPN connectivity options available between this uh, 2000 2006. And after 2006, I can say that MPL has, uh, has evolved, okay? And it has more own advantages uh, while using the MPLS. MPLS has provided the, the secure private dedicated uh, uh, virtual routing instance for the particular customers. A part of that, it has addressed the multiple like uh, uh, quality of service, traffic engineering, okay, it was a secure. So this is an era, okay, still uh, the MPL is going on. But uh, when that, um, when we shifted uh, this the 2017 or 16, the most of the, the new uh, technologies has come, is called SD-WAN, okay. So why this SD-WAN helpful and why this MPL is was? Uh, Sorry. Uh, I believe Ranveer is talking on 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 mute. So you can mute him. Uh, you have a right to mute him. I believe he is having some out oh, talking. Okay. Okay. Continue. Yeah, so uh, last uh, couple of years, okay, so uh, the application uh, earlier uh, in the, during the MPLS, most of the application hosted in the uh, customer data center. And last couple of years, uh, I can say last uh, uh, seven, eight years, um, uh, the, uh, the customer got benefit to ship their application in the cloud, okay? So in MPLS, all the traffic, uh, all the branch traffic is coming to the head office and head office have the proper internet uh, infrastructure, okay? Where they have the dedicated firewall, IDS, IPS, every, everything's placed in the uh, head office and the traffic is going to the uh, back calling to the internet, okay? But last couple of years, the application has been shifted from the uh, local data center toward the cloud okay so the branch is coming from the uh, branch is coming from the head office and going to the um, uh, uh, toward the cloud it's consuming the uh, more bandwidth okay as well as the, it will create the latency and uh, performance issue okay However, when we using the uh, the MPLS okay or sorry uh, SD WAN okay so what happened what you advantage you got you is it has a more advantages when we using the uh, the um, 
uh, the sd1 okay so it is a transport independent okay it doesn't dependent you required only the the mpls service okay you can use any internet okay maybe you can use illss uh, uh, service as well as the the fbbs service or 5g 4g okay any of the transport you can use and the traffic you can locally break out from the branch itself okay when you need uh, traffic uh, need to reach to the cloud traffic can locally break out from the branch itself okay uh, and the uh, each device has the firewall capability also so based on the business requirement uh, uh, the uh, the customer can choose they need the next generation firewall or the utm firewall okay so all these each box we can apply the firewall policy as well as and this policy should be managed and centrally um, controlled by the the head end component okay we are going to discuss about the uh, which are the head end component uh, in the the versa as given in the subsequent slides um okay so this is just a few benefit uh, noted here so uh, what advantages or the benefit uh, as given uh, can provide its uh improve the performance okay so earlier the traffic was uh, during the mpls era the traffic was going to the head office and uh, uh, for the internet it, it is back calling to the cloud here each branch can be uh, locally traffic uh, to the internet can break out from the local local itself so a customer can uh, 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 the user can um, feel the better experience okay boost security each devices is a uh, the standard or the uh, the common security policy in all the devices and low complexity because it's um, uh, it's has the centralized management so it's have the low low uh, complexity Uh, and it's a uh, enable cloud uses okay and reduce cost why be reducing the cost earlier you have to take the dedicated lease lines or the mpls lines here you can use any of the the low cost transport okay you can use the the as a broadband connection so that you can use uh, uh, some internet line also so because of that the cost got reduced and a part of that um, the box okay so earlier using the dedicated uh, box for the uh, firewall dedicated box you require for the routing functions okay you require dedicated box for the uh, the wireless capability okay all these combinations you will get in the single box okay it's uh, as divan has this that much of the capability and a part of that it's a zero touch provisioning okay so don't you don't require to run line by line command in each and every devices Uh, okay so it is a, a zero touch provisioning you can use okay so uh, we are talk about the zero touch provisioning three types of zero touch provisioning supported and the uh, versa is given um, the we will talk about uh, later in the subsequent slides and the zero trust fabric is a, uh, like uh, is a ssc based models also uh, can be enable so if we, this is the one of the scenario okay where um, the the branches are using branches are using the uh, mpls as well as the internet connectivity so this is the dedicated if you talk about the one one uh, example okay so you have uh, taken uh, one dedicated appliance for the security firewall one dedicated um, uh, device for the router you, you require some uh, sd1 box uh, sd sd1 box here the when 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 optimize optimizer the wifi okay so or if if we talking about when we it is a legacy okay legacy architectures when we shifted to the the versa sd1 box all this functionality instead of this all these boxes you can all these features you will get in the single box okay so this is the one of the uh, i can say uh, most use cases uh, which customer are utilizing uh, utilizing nowadays uh, for their network uh, we are talking about the uh, versa sd1 architecture okay so there are the four component we can say uh, these are the major uh, it's called head end okay so head end have the three component director controller and analytics okay these three component we are saying uh, we are saying as a head end and this is the branch cp we are using for the uh, the branches okay in the versa sd1 we are using uh, there is advantage you can use um, the it support the um, the versa certified few vendors okay a part of that we can use uh, the any uh, of the uh, virtualized servers also for the providing the these functions okay 
so it it component has their own role and responsibility okay one is the one versa director versa director major role to uh, like uh, uh, the configuration point of view okay and it's as well as the manage the uh, uh, devices okay it's it is a kind of the provisioning most do the provisioning as well as the uh, the management of the uh, devices this uh, controller is more acting as a rr is the route reflector is a ma it's uh, uh, exchanging the route uh, route uh, between the branches and analytics is uh, one of the uh, uh, i can say uh, the best tool okay which can provide you the uh, the the all the logs relevant logs as well as the analytics graph Uh, application graphs all this you can find in the analytics okay and cp uh, we can use uh, for as um, any of the cp we can use okay uh, which has the capability to to support the transport independent firewall functionality okay single box can, you can use for multiple functions so this this is a sub a uh, few definitions we noted down here okay so what director does what controller does okay so uh, uh, this just uh, uh, it is a you can say the or director is just acting as orchestrator okay it is giving the instructor instructions to uh, to like um, you define the template here you can do the provisioning here itself okay uh, you can see the uh, dashboarding in the director okay we, we have the lab also we can show you so you also uh, as well and it's very user friendly okay where people uh, can uh, manage all the devices from the director itself okay and controller is acting as a more over the uh, the uh, the route reflector or single point of uh, for the branch devices analytics also can store the the logs uh, event okay and provide the report sla uh, informations okay uh, it can provide the graphs also and sdbn uh, support like both iil transport as well as dmpls transport okay uh, and it can you can define the the uh, topology okay any of the topology uh, like full mesh uh, hub and spoke all this topology you can define okay based on the topology our uh, director it uh, configuration can be pushed to the, the uh, respective branches so this is the one use case okay where uh, i can sit here in this one here so uh, the director this is the this component is called the hidden component in the on uh, the versa um, sd1 okay director analytics and controller okay and controller mostly uh, the the branch interfacing okay so maybe the internet transport or the iil transport is, is uh, maybe connected to the the controller and backend the the director and controller or analytics will be talk on the north bond and south bond okay i will i will show you also in the next subsequent slide okay so when we designing the uh, the any of the hidden hidden component okay so there is a two component one is a management uh, traffic even one is a uh, south bond is called the uh, the control traffic okay so as per the design point of view always be are is a standard practice we should be use ethernet zero to connect to the management interfaces and as a south bond interface should be connect to the uh, the control interface okay so uh, the north bond and south bond be connected to the controller and controller is a uh, the 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 device which is connecting to the transport okay with the iil transport or the different uh, the mpls transport so this uh, connected to the uh, the controller and the uh, the branch maybe with the you have the uh, like depend okay you have the dual transport single transport your branches should be connected like that this way so this is just uh, the uh, design point of view how uh, the our our uh, lab topology look like okay this is a design practice when but when we going to the actual production for the any company when you designing the network for the any company okay director maybe uh, few of the customers can say i don't want to directly face my controller direct to the any of the transport public should not be able to access so you had, you can place any of the the routing device okay or the firewall device before that and do you can do the netting also okay so uh, your controller actual ip address you can hide as well okay so best practices people do that okay instead of directly con exposing controller to the the transport people can put one more device here okay which can has the capability of the firewall capability or the routing capability where you can hide the actual controller um, um ip address okay 
so this is the uh, like uh, lap lap topology okay so where we have the uh, the director okay i can show you also i can connect uh, directly to the our lab lab also okay so here we have the actual lab okay uh, the we created one dire one director uh, this is our control device this is our analytics device okay so we connected our ethernet uh, interface to the management okay and our eth1 is connected to the, by the control and this controller is connected to the we define as a ampls connectivity as well as the internet connectivity and we define one uh, one uh, data center device dc devices and that four different different branch devices okay so where we can uh, log in uh, and uh, 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 when we starting the sessions okay so our team can uh, the user can uh, log in and see the uh, the view of uh, the okay so this is just uh, one uh, just view okay will be onboarded devices also uh, and this our uh, main uh, platform okay our guinet uh, platform we created this lab where where, where we can uh, see okay if you talk about here this is the uh, one of the hdp branch we deployed here okay you can see this inter this devices has been onboarded and uh, uh, what, yeah what what do you mean by uh, northbound southbound ah uh, sorry uh, what do you mean by northbound and southbound it is a just a physical connectivity okay like physical connectivity uh, the there is a two kind two kind of traffic one is a management traffic one is a routing information traffic okay so routing information traffic can be talked to the branches also okay but the management point of view you don't require your management traffic to reach to the branches okay so this these two layer they segregated as a northbound and southbound okay so uh, the northbound traffic if you talk about here if you see it is a management traffic is connecting to the ethernet zero to uh, the data controller and analytics as well as the uh, the controller also okay so it can it, it is just carrying the management traffic okay for example this management traffic don't require to expose to the customer okay so you might be uh, this this management traffic only for example this you this implemented for any customer okay so this management traffic may be the your knock team require okay to manage the devices okay and control traffic maybe the automatically some ip address assigning uh, to the branches all this part of the control traffic i'm i'm able to answer your question or uh, do you have still doubt so i i mean controller will not be part of my, uh, northbound am i right yeah you can make it okay so the inside the the interface it's ideally don't require okay but you can make it also okay because you have to manage for example you knock knock setting somewhere in the uh, this side okay and you require some management ip address also need to extend you can extend it okay so here instead of one interface you can take the two interface if you see one interface is the showing vn0 and one interface showing is a eth0 right so eth0 in the controller is also is a part of a management only okay got it okay so it is just for the management okay mostly uh, the the team uh, the knock team or the who's managing the devices need need some access they can access through the management access, management interface okay so uh, we are talking about this uh, our uh, this deployment point of view okay so we deploy the branches and be tested here also uh this is our uh, uh, topology so this topology we can create in the full mesh or uh, hub and spoke topology or uh, like hub, uh, spoke to spoke y hub okay all these combinations we are going to uh, uh, during the uh, during the course we are going to cover and uh, uh, so you also okay so this is just uh, the the how we can design or when we designing we require to uh, how you can assign the your ip schema okay so this is the it, it interface it one interface okay this is the, the only the controller is a device which is facing to mpls internet also so here we heard using the different interface vn0 and vn2 okay which is connecting to internet and mpls devices okay so this is the high level of uh, the uh, the uh, diagram okay how the data plane traffic flow okay and how the control plane traffic flow so this is my head end component uh, this is the director which uh, which is required to the management plane traffic 
the controller this is the controller which is just providing the routing information to the branches it is managing the control traffic and data plane traffic directly communicate between the branch to branches okay so so data traffic can data plane traffic can communicate with the uh, between the branch to branches okay so based on the requirement you to design your topology okay maybe the some customer require full mesh topology so you can you have to choose the template it is a template base okay so you don't require to do any manual changes so a uh, template base you have to create the topology and automatically configurations um, can be pushed uh, based on the script it will push to the um, respective branches so the the data plane traffic tunnel data data plane traffic will form between the branches uh, uh, to hub locations or branch to branch locations based on the topology we are going to define okay and uh, when the uh, like uh, this is the uh, overall architectures okay how this uh, it can be connect to uh, oss bss maybe your monitoring systems where the uh, maybe some um, uh, oss bss systems maybe their billing systems maybe some monitoring systems or some other systems where, where the organizations can integrate through the directors or analytics both are supporting api also so on directors also uh, like uh, someone wanted to uh, fetch the api based uh, uh, integrations or the like example you have some already some uh, management system okay they need some directly logs inventory they can fetch through the api as well so this is the just uh, how this um, uh, the any branch okay forming the uh, the ip sec tunnels with the the controllers okay so any branches so when be onboarding it will form the ipsec uh, ipsec uh, uh, ipsec with a controller and then it uh, assign the vx tunnels okay and the vx tunnels on top of that it's form the ipsec tunnels okay so this is a just uh, one of the overview okay which protocol uh, using for the configurations okay um and the netconf uh, these are uh, the protocol used to push the configuration from the director to the uh, respective uh, branches uh, through the controller okay so control is the main uh, focal point okay for all the branches which communicate first it will talk to the the control uh, the controller and the control will uh, fetch the information from the director and push to the to the respective branches okay so this is just an overview okay and uh, if you want uh, about this lab point of view if you see here uh, like uh, um, this uh, interfaces um, it's a point to multi point of uh, uh, kind of tunnels it can it can create okay so if when when we talking about this uh, vni uh, interface okay it's creating that tunnel uh, here uh, uh, tvi0 uh, tvi4 tvi5 okay so this way tunnel will form with the controller okay and this is the ptp tunnel it which is forming with the controller it's a permanent tunnel so this is for uh, today's session and you wanted to see the uh, the uh, branches also i can try to show you okay So this is our director page. so here we created one of the organization norm name is a test okay and three of the devices showing as a onboarded these three devices and we have the one controller okay as per the topology if you see here so uh, this is one of the controller it's showing as a onboarded and these three branches okay in this branch one and these two dev devices i onboarded in this so far in this branches so in the director console it is showing as a these three branches has be on onboarded okay 
so this is the uh, this is the uh, and here is the multiple options okay like configurations uh, workflow administrator okay so each has their own functions which we when we are talking about to uh, uh, we are going to uh, more discuss when we are uh, going for the classes any any question now from the your side uh, guys uh, which you want to discuss Guys, if having any question not understand uh, about till now, we can have a one to one discussion because uh, the sir is quite having the very good experience. Uh, already he is in the Versa architect and doing hands on designing and deployment for the lot of, you know, uh, in field customers and they are the large customers. So this training is basically more about like uh, you'll get the full flavor of the, you know, all Versa SD WAN uh, head end deployment. If I talk about the head end deployment, likewise, the SD WAN of the Cisco, we are keep doing the controller deployment. Similar, we are having the head end here, which is called the controller control plane devices. And those controllers deployment, you'll get the hands on, like uh, uh, all experience, how it is going to be configured, how the internal configuration is going to be done on the Versa director. Uh, versa analytics controllers and how finally we are going to onboard the s devices so that is going to happen in the very detail because uh, we are not just you know go and deliver training based on the ppt and all right because it's like a lab is already created already tested everything is tested and uh, everything is working fine so if you're having anything to discuss with sir you can ask any question like anything you can ask there is no boundaries right related to the versa s devan or if you're having any other doubt as well regarding this, even you can just have a discussion, okay? Because this session is more about like you understand the like how the things is working, right? And the way of the next generation is changing the every organization, the way of working, digital transformation. So you'll get those kind of the insights, right? Okay, so feel free to ask if in, you can ask the question in Hindi or English, whatever you feel comfortable, it's okay for us. But session should be more like, uh, you know, should be two-way communication. Okay, sir, you can continue. Might be uh, people will come out later. Anything uh, you want to contribute uh, apart uh, from? Uh, I think the yeah. uh, today agenda, uh, uh, Pankaj, uh, so cover uh, this much of the slides. So, uh, like, sir, yes, can you just uh, show us the audience like what the course content we are going to deliver uh, during this uh, okay, particular? Okay. Yeah. So at least uh, we understand like all about the you know course content. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the. Uh... Uh, the course contain okay so uh, a part of uh, these um, uh, when we talking about to the uh, uh, versa certifications a part of that we are going to like uh, uh, talk about the designing okay how uh, this head and simple head and design can be done okay and when uh, we talk about the uh, oral understanding creating the lab topology okay how you can uh, the branch branch onboarding has been done okay and the staging template, post staging template. Okay, so uh, um, as well as these uh, the direct internet access, um, uh, SLA based uh, traffic steering. Okay, application steering. Okay, and basic extension firewall is going to cover in this uh, course. Okay. So almost everything related to OSPF, DSCP, VRRP, LAN integration, controller integration, onboarding the site, everything is going to be covered, like with the Cisco SD WAN, what we keep doing. And in addition of that, you understand the how the feature of the next generation file can be integrated. Okay. So this is all topics we are going to cover during this session. So if you guys are having the interest, like you want to, uh, like I have a lot of, you know, uh, we observe people are reaching out to understand the Versa SD WAN. So if you guys having like uh, like any query further, and uh, definitely you can ask us. I right? definitely will try to answer those query. Along with that, uh, if you interested or you anyone from your known interested to just you know continue this session, so always happy to join because this is the going to happen. The batch is going to happen on the every uh, Saturday Sunday on the same time, five to seven will be the batch timing. Okay. So today, just for the introduction, because we just wanted to uh, make the awareness, like this is a new course. Probably it is not new course, but uh, after a long time, we just relaunched this course. So after a lot of uh, people having a lot of demand, so uh, uh, sir will take care of this entire module, right? 
and definitely uh, i'll be also uh, available during the session because to help you guys so you'll get the uh, flavor of the deep inside of the two sd van together one is the cisco what we are keep doing since long and versa also so probably uh, you will be the champion because nowadays networking is changing very fast and people are looking the multi skilled people including the routing switching along with the multi skills of the sd van like the cisco sd van versa sd van you might find the some uh, 48 sd van like that okay so alim uh, you asking like what is the difference between the webtela sd van versa sd van okay that's a really good question so <clears throat> let me take this question uh, i'll just try to compare and arun, arun uh, like sir will also give the some kind of insight so if you talk about the webtela sd van this is something managed by the cisco uh, product this is cisco product and versa is the versa product versa is the vendor like with the cisco juniper versa is another vendor right so these are the both sd van you just think in this way you having a two flavor of router one is the cisco router one is the juniper router both are the router but they manufactured by the two different company okay or you having a two phone might be the one of the nokia phone one of the samsung phone both are the phone but both are manufactured by the two companies similar the webtela and the uh, versa is a two different company they define define the two different solutions right so this solution having the single purpose both are going to serve and give the very flexible next generation networking concept for your infrastructure likewise the both smartphone is going to give you the video call you can do the whatsapp chat you can watch the any time of the youtube streaming like that or amazon streaming like that but phone are manufactured by the two different companies similar they are going to solve the actual requirement for the next generation network requirement but the vendor are different that's only different they having a different set of the controller uh, in a webtela in versa they having a different set of the controller but the end purpose is going to be same only the way of working or the way of the configuration that is going to be change will it going to help alim understand yes sir okay good that's a really nice question uh, any other question guys yeah sir, sir one query uh, sir is there any difference between uh, staging template and post post the staging template yeah yeah very good question so uh, like uh, um, generally uh, which scenario we can use the uh, staging and post staging okay like example uh, you have the any any company or designing the network okay uh, you have the different different uh, one company have the worldwide network okay maybe some offices in the apex some offices in the us region some offices in the uh, emea regions okay so that case when the branch is coming to the the devices okay that case we should be go with the uh, staging and uh, st uh, like uh, staging and post staging um, uh, uh, both okay so staging when the traffic will be uh, when the request will come to the staging that case it will decide okay it should be go to which directory which region direct director okay so if if we are deploying the multiple uh, director also okay like example one director has the capacity of to supporting around 2500 cp in one director okay and you example you have the devices of 10000 branches you require right to deploy to uh, different different region then you have to place your director to the diff different geography okay so when you have the multiple director uh, when you deploying multiple director that case you can use one of the staging staging options and post staging both okay and when you uh, have just uh, uh, like you have the small network okay maybe your device is not more than um, 1000 2000 okay then only uh, you can use the post staging also it can fulfill your requirement is it okay with uh, concepts i hope you understand sir who is yes. protocol is working uh, in overlay uh, like uh, cisco mp overlay here so, here we are using the mp bgp okay so consider okay this is a mp bgp we are using for uh, this uh, um, uh, for um, overlay protocol okay for forming from the branch to the the controller it's a forming the mp bgp so direndra in omp is a cisco proprietary in the webtela but yes, here yes. in the versa we having not proprietary kind of the stuff just yes, yes, yes. Uh, mp bgp similar what we keep using in the mpls the same bgp concept is going to be formed and those 
control connection is going to build from the branch to the controller is it right sir from the yeah, correct BGP? correct so yeah. guys you understand okay so uh, i can say uh, as per my experience okay the whatever the p uh, uh, when we talking to the first slide okay so first slide i talk about to, uh, to how this uh, uh, shifting has been done okay so um, what happen this p functionality the shifted to the c okay and this uh, this other other capability shifted to the controller okay so each device you can uh, if you to talk about it can it can separate vrf for the transport separate vrf for the lan separate vrf for the control okay so if you talk about the fundamentally the p whatever the p has the capability they separate to the c c devices also okay and they done some automations okay maybe uh, jtp and some security features has been built okay so if you have the concept of the mpls similar concept um, can help to understand the um, uh, the sd1 uh, versus sd1 also yeah that's a really good yeah. right at least yeah you know, we we'll already know about the bgp and all and this is something not new to know about the like like with the cisco omp this you have to keep the your good understanding about the bgp and that is going to leverage here that's a really good uh, idea by the versa uh, so any security features are available in uh, your edge devices like uh, cisco join this firewall facility available? yeah so it's uh, by default it can provide the stateful firewall okay so next generation firewall and utm features also uh, we can um, uh, the versa provide okay so uh, then uh, when we talking about the u um, this uh, um, okay uh, utm features then ids ips all this capability uh, versa has uh, provide the, with the single box okay so uh, this is called a uh, router based uh, sd1 or firewall based sd1 like uh, uh, fortinet uh, pack pipe uh, no no it is the not of uh, this this versa is a uh, not a firewall uh, firewall based sd1 okay versa has the company okay which has developed the sd1 okay full fledged okay it's uh, completely automated and uh top of the the sd1 capability the, it has the 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 uh, the, um, the firewall capability also okay so, so you can say, say uh, we can say that box as a uh, msc box na no? multi service gateway box yeah you can say that okay kind of uh, um, it can support multi tenant uh, multi tenancy also okay so uh, it can support um, uh, um, you can say that as well Okay. okay, so uh, for like uh, example, the uh, you have the multiple customers. Okay, so multiple customers, customer A, customer B, customer C. Okay, so all the customers, this direct uh, the hidden component com can sub uh, so like to through one single hidden component, you can provide two services to the multiple customers. Okay, like MPLS. Okay, like example, this example, if you talk about okay. You have the two different different VRF, right? For you are using the common P, but you have the different different VRF, right? Okay, so in SD1 also you have uh, the one common controller. Okay, and the, through the common controller you have you can segregate the routing uh, separate separate routing uh, instance for uh, specific customer customer uh, also. Okay, so when you creating any new cust new tenant uh, new tenant in the uh, the uh, versa director, it automatically segregate the routing table for the control traffic for a uh, specific customer. Uh, so in uh, how much uh, throughput of this device entry level device so like example uh, the if you be uh, uh, depend on the throughput based on the feature which features we are loading okay example the minimum uh, the example you are using uh, a small box okay uh, with the capability it can provide up to the 500 also 500 mbps when using the sd wan okay when we using uh adding the example next generation firewall features then throughput will be reduced okay like instead of the 500 it will give the 100 mbps throughput okay when you using the utm features okay also on the top, the same box okay the throughput will be reduced from 500 to uh, uh, 40 uh, 50 mbps okay so it depend okay how your uh, network you designing what requirement is there okay so any of the box okay you talk about not about the versa any of the vendor when you adding the more feature, the throughput will be reduced. Okay. When you using the less feature example, you just using as routing functions. Okay. Uh, you use as a routing function, then your throughput will be higher. Okay. When you using more features, then the 
the throughput will be reduced. Okay, so minimum the lowest model will be support around 50 50 Mbps of uh, with a complete full features load. Okay, you can use complete UTM features. Okay, so all these features you can use around 45 Mbps throughput it will give. This is something uh, I would say every network or security engineer understand this concept. Whenever you talk about the throughput, sir, very rightly place this concept. And even many people confused about. They talk about the throughputs, but they were they never realize how the throughput is going to be calculated. So might be in I have seen people are struggling to give the answer during the interview. So it's also very good for the interview point of view. Like whenever someone is going to ask the throughput, you should know the throughout the box throughput, but how throughput is going to be calculated. Like was sir mentioned, like if we are having a 10 feature we are using, every feature is going to consume some throughput. So actually your average feature uh, throughput is going to be minimum, not like the maximum. Okay. So it totally depends how we are utilizing our product. Thank you, sir, making this point. Really good point. Any other question, guys? That session is going to really very interesting and I useful for everyone. Like you can explore your questions if you're having any anything else in your mind, you can ask it. I, Still, we're having a time, uh, no issue. Sir, I think I, I think I think sometimes like uh, uh, flex uh, flex VNF, I think the, mm. uh, the data mentioned at uh, CPN. So yeah. what do we mean by uh, the that term? Yeah, flex VNF, sir. Okay, so. so uh, sir. Uh, yeah. So Versa operating system, okay, like uh, example, Cisco have their own operating system. So Versa uh, operating system, uh, they the, the CP box they are using as a flex VNF. Okay, when I, I will show you also. Um, let me log into the one of the device. Flex VNF, nothing. Just kind of the the their uh, the versa always they 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 calling as a uh, uh, flex VNF also. Oh, that is the name something. of iOS. Yeah, versa always. Is it something? Yeah, uh, is it they, something they, branch they, devices they, or like controller? We how we segregate sir? No, no branches. Uh, the the controller and the branches have the common uh, OS. Uh, okay, so because of that, it's uh, called versa OS or the flex VNF. Okay, this okay. device is okay. So don't confuse with the flex VNF and versa OS is a uh, is the same term. Okay, so I think that is the old old uh, like earlier people are used to say as a flex VNF now are saying as a uh, the versa uh, versa OS. That's it. US they saying is a VUS. Okay, VUS they saying now uh, the device is saying is a VUS. And earlier people all talk about this the same name as a um, uh, versa OS. That's it. And controller and uh, CP uh, OS will be same. I think, correct, correct. So controller and uh, the CP is a uh, kind of using the same yeah. same OS. Okay. okay. Analytics have the different image. Data have the different image. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here only one control uh, will work for three proposals now, uh, like uh, orchestration and management also. Uh, one controller you're talking about uh, for uh, orchestrator, we are using director. Okay, director is a role for orchestrator. Okay, and okay. control role is just to exchange the routing information between the branches. It is acting okay. as a RR. Okay, 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 okay. Like be smart. Uh, yeah, correct. We be smart. For authentication purpose, what control, which control we are using here? Uh, so uh, for uh, like branch authentication talking about? Yeah, in VBAN we are using in uh, SDVR. So here, here the controller is going to first authentication happen on the, the controller. Okay, controller will, uh, um, any branch will be do the, uh, the authentication with the controller. Okay, okay. But this is the controller is also using for the authentic authentication also. So uh, uh, like uh, like when the Cisco, we having a separate V-Bond for the authentication onboarding the devices. But here the V-Bond functionality is going to cover by the Versa controller. So that is same onboarding and like uh, authenticating the devices, right, sir? Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. And similar to the V-Manage we having in the Cisco SD-WAN. So here is the Versa director is going to solve that purpose where we can create the template 
similar why uh, we created the feature template device template in the web tailor here we can create the different different type of the template staging template post staging template and few more policy template we where, having where is that of directory sorry where is that directory you show me that directory oh okay okay sir can you show it where, where template can be created in here in configuration yeah, so yeah. Uh, in the workflow is a uh, area okay where you can create the template okay so like this is the template uh, okay so like example be created one here okay uh, the one branch template be created one dc template be created okay so if you talking about the design okay of the design of this uh, lab okay so uh, okay so this is the uh, the branch template we created here okay so branch template we have the multiple options we have to put the basic input okay uh, like uh, we have to define the name of the branch name okay organization name first of all we have to create the organization name same organization name we have to select here uh, these uh, the hd device device type is hd event device or the the use uh, vcp device vcp device when we talking this use for uh, when we deploying uh, the device is a router okay this versa devices you can de deploy as a router also okay and firewall also okay same devices we can use as a firewall same devices we can use it for uh, for uh, firewall router as well as hd wan okay so when we going for deploy as a router that times we can select the uh, the uh, vcp options and when we going to deploy as hd wan then so, uh, cp means your customer premises equipment like no, no. A router. VCP means acting as a router, plain routing, whatever they like you're using as a uh, legacy router, right? Uh, for Cisco router or any, any other router. If okay, like, yes. like sim similar way you deploy this device as a routing fun capability, then you can use it as a, a VCP options. Okay. Okay. So all these features are there. Okay. We are we have to select the clusters. Okay. Uh, we should design the interface, which like example, one, 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 one interface, one LAN interface. Okay. We have to select the transport, which kind of IP address we are using. Okay. When we saying the tunneling, okay, example, you don't, you want local internet breakout from the local itself, then you have to decide, you have to select here. Okay. Example, local LAN, we are the when, which when transport you wanted to, uh, like wout you to define the dia it's automatically create the the split tunnel between the on the branch uh, land transport to the the van transport okay so all these options available where you can uh, use it and uh, understand how uh, this uh, the on the deployment happen apart of that um, this is one interesting thing i would like to uh, share with you guys uh, Example uh, here, uh, when we saying uh, to deploying any branch, okay, uh, or any organizations, okay. Here you, if you see here, okay. This is the controller, sorry. Organizations, when we creating organizations is assigning some ID, right, global ID. Okay. Example is assigning the global ID. Okay. Then your interface, it, it is based on that your uh, TVI interfaces will be formed. Okay. Uh, when we go to the any of the branch device. Okay. When we're going to any of the branch device. Okay. Uh, we'll go from here itself. Okay. Tool also we can see uh, system. Sir. So the yeah. appliance is a part of hardware chassis or something uh, that, that connect uh, makes the controller uh, uh, makes the connection between the multiple types so of any, any any of the hardware okay so versa has a few certified vendors like dell uh, advantec okay lenar okay and versa also uh, providing their own cp okay that is a uh, csg series models okay 3700 Okay, uh, one thousand series model. So all these models, uh, uh, you can get it. So basically, appliance is the hardware name. Yeah, appliance is the hardware, correct? Okay, yeah. but you can yeah. this can you can deploy in the virtual box also. Okay, like okay. example in data center, you wanted to deploy this on the VM, you can deploy it on the VM yeah. as well. Okay, and second thing, there is multiple types of interface created during the uh, onboarding, like uh, uh, TPVI interface or something, PTVI interface. So would you tell me, sir, more detail? Yeah, sure. Okay. One minute now. Example, when uh, this tunnel, okay, this tunnel, they form with the, um, the controller. Okay. 
uh, this is a called permanent tunnel okay and this two tunnel okay when we talking about this uh, tvi tunnels okay this tvi tunnels is always be the two times of your uh, the your organization id okay example your uh, our organization id was 2 okay so first tunnel will be, be give as a number is a 4 okay uh, if suppose my i'm creating new organizations then my organization id would be 3 okay so particular tunnels will be form as a 6 and 7 okay so this case our tunnel will be start with the number 2 okay Num two times of the your uh, global id so this tvi tunnels will be for your this is the you can say vx tunnels okay and the the second tunnel will be form as a ipsec tunnel okay this two tunnels will be form uh, for any of the branches okay when you onboarding any branch your your tunnel will be two times of your uh, uh, organization id and next tunnel will be two times plus one device okay example this is the 2 plus 1 to uh, 2x plus 1 sir so, sir so, so suppose my organization id is 106 then then if your organization id is 106 then it's a two times of your uh, the number okay example 102 uh, into two times okay so 204 will be uh, the tunnel uh, number will become okay sir got it okay so i see i see right here i saw you right somewhere uh, in the here so here i saw you right that director this organization id is coming is a 2 right when we creating we are going to create new organizations and the number will be coming as a sequentially okay 3 okay so our uh, the branch tunnel tunnel ip addresses will be start with the uh, 3 and 6 uh, 3 3 into 2 times 6 and 7 okay though for the next organizations will become the branches tunnel will be like form that way only clear guys any any doubt on this okay one directory uh, support have many devices sorry one directory can support how many uh, one one director yes support uh, how many devices yeah. so one director support up to uh, at, um, uh, as per the versa um, uh, it support up to the 2750 devices okay 2500 you can say one director will be support okay as a best practices okay uh but i think newer versions are coming okay maybe it's going to release when the one director will be going to support up to 5000 cp also okay so same director in the newer versions coming okay maybe the 23 versions is going to launch the times maybe it's going to same director is going to support to 2500 okay so 2500 cp will be support by one director so no version is currently uh, which version is on running currently Uh, currently 2021.2.23 this version is mostly running okay okay so how uh, many, one uh, yeah. can, like cisco how many control connection can support one control are you talking about uh, uh, sorry by your question can you repeat your question please uh, 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 Dhiraj is talking about sir in Cisco as the one we have uh -huh. a control connection between the controller to the edge devices, right? Like okay. security devices. Okay. So, so they having some limitations to support the control connections. Similarly, okay. having something here to uh, like whenever the control connection is going to build between the CP to so the controller. So it's here yeah. around seven thousand something exactly in number. I'm not remember, but seven thousand six hundred some number are there. Okay, uh, exactly okay. number I'm not remember, but uh, that much of the control connections can be support. Okay. Uh, one more question we have in chat, sir. Uh, Raghu is asking, could we install this in the laptop? So, Raghu, let me just try to answer this query. So, see, any SD WAN labs or any like uh, firewall high capacity labs. If you want to install a laptop, it is absolutely possible. You can install in uh, the lab. You can set up in the laptop, but the laptop configuration should be very high. At least you need the uh, 64 plus GB RAM plus you having at least uh, for what's our lab? At least you require 128 uh, GB of RAM. GB. Okay, then okay. yeah, then you should be yeah. able to properly run your director, everything. Okay, else what yeah. happen? Maybe if you going to the come less uh, mm. less capacity hardware, then maybe uh, your system will be create issue. Okay, it's it will be hang. Okay, <laughs> it will it will create uh, not able to utilize the lab properly. Yeah, yeah. So, Raghu, you just have to take very, you know, robust hardware. 
So this is this lab. What you are seeing that is uh, created in the Dell like server, which is having the almost uh, one terabyte RAM and like they having a very high terabyte uh, storage and very high terabyte like processing units are very like powerful. That's why it's able to run. And you guys are able to do the labs for the Cisco SD WAN versus SD WAN. So that's why it is running. But laptop, I believe uh, you just have to invest a lot of things to just make this lab. So any other question, guys? Uh, anyone have anything to ask right now with sir? Or we are good for now? Uh, uh, suppose, sir, one question. Uh, yeah. Uh, suppose uh, we have uh, 2,000 uh, devices, uh, mm -hmm. like 2,000 branches. And uh, so suggest uh, uh, how many controller and directory will be required? And uh, for this controller if, uh, and if, uh, mostly... hardware server is required, na? How many RAM? So generally, when you're designing, okay, like example, you're designing for even 2000 uh, branches also, then yes. generally what happens, you should be designed as a two controller, okay, one you should be placed in the DC, one should be placed in the DR. Right, okay? right. And uh, the go with the two director, okay, like example, uh, this director should be in HM mode, okay, one DC and one DR, okay. Right. So what happens, every branch, like example, currently is forming that one tunnel, right, with the, this is a control, control tunnel with the controller. Okay. okay. So instead of the one tunnels, there should be the two tunnel will going to form. Okay. One one with the DC controller, one, one with the DR controller. That's it. So at a time, at a time, uh, one branch uh, will create two tunnels with two, two DR and DR. Yeah, oh. it's a kind of the consider this is the acting as a P. Okay. So example, you have the two RR, then you should form the R the tunnel with the both the RR, right? Pairing with the right. MPVGP with the both the RRs. That's it. Right. Okay. So it, uh, if you have a hardware server, that how many uh, RAM will consume for that uh, only single controller, single uh, directory in a one uh, physical server. Because we have uh, one server in DC and one server in DR. Okay, okay. So uh, in one server, we make a, we will make a virtual machine na, for the controller and, DC, uh, controller and uh, directory, uh -huh. if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you can make it as a virtual box also, and you can use the physical appliance as well. Okay. Yes. So there is a recommended hardware in the Versa. Okay, like uh, there is some uh, designing when the there is some designing document. Okay, where they recommending. Okay, like example, when you going for one, like they they provided the capacity. Okay, one controller how much uh, capacity require, one director for how much capacity require for the the routing functions how much capacity require. So they already documented. Okay, uh, maybe uh, we can provide uh, that uh, document maybe later. Okay, so that is a uh, available. Okay, uh, maybe. 128 GB RAM. There is a specification are there. Okay, we can go with the Versa recommended uh, hardware uh, features only. Okay, so if you need it, then we'll provide later also uh, the details. Okay, that's okay. But uh, instead of uh, Versa, we cannot use another uh, third-party hardware like Dell, uh, SP. Yeah, so there is a few certified uh, vendor, okay, like example, uh, the Versa is a five certified few vendors, so like Advantech, Dell, okay, Laner, okay, Aero, okay, all these are certified vendors, you can use any of the hardware, okay. Okay, okay thank you. So I believe we are good now, if uh, not having any further questions, so we can wrap up this session, right? We all okay, guys. Last time I'm asking uh, if you have, let us know, else we can connect in the next session. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining this session. We appreciate your time and presence, and thanks for participating in this your discussion. And thank you so much, sir, for your wonderful session. It's really very you know nice uh, and in depth. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. See you thank again. You, sir. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Nice. Thank you.